Hey what's going on guys, this is Andrew Chicken and welcome back to another video. Paladins is a fantastic game to play and improve at, with dozens of different champions that have some interesting kits and fantastic customization. However, getting into this game can be daunting for a new player, which is why today I'll be going over my top 5 tips to help you improve at Paladins. These tips range from important things that you need to learn in order to do well at this game, to simple things that will make your life playing Paladins much better. But anyways, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Number 5. Learn VGS VGS is a super important tool in Paladins that allows you to effectively communicate with your team without having to use a mic. Just by pressing a combination of a few different buttons, you can make your champion say a diverse number of different key phrases, such as need healing or help. Learning these commands will really help you out when playing Paladins, because if you don't know how to use them, then there's no way to let your healer know that they're not healing you well enough. Your healer will really appreciate you using the Need Healing command, because there's no other way for them to know that you're at low health. You can even preemptively use the Need Healing command when you're at full health, so they can know to pay attention to you when you're about to engage with a target. Different skins and different champions say some voice lines differently too, so it's important to use the Need Healing command with every champion that you play, so that you can get familiar with what their voice lines sound like. Without a doubt, learning VGS is one of the most important tips I have for new players, and it is definitely super helpful no matter what rank you're at. Speaking of your rank, in the number 4 spot we have Ranked, or rather, the tip that you should be getting into Ranked as fast as possible. Once you have Ranked unlocked, you should be grinding out Ranked every day, because Ranked is by far the best place to learn new champions that you've recently unlocked. Ranked is a competitive environment which will really test you and encourage you to improve, which is why whenever there's a new champion that's released, I always head straight into Ranked so I can figure out how they work. Ranked also has an interesting form of draft that will let you ban certain champions that you don't want to go up against. So if you're trying to improve at a tricky champion like Strix, you can ban some of his hardest counters, like Moji and Sky. This can make learning a champion much easier in Ranked. Ranked also has a wonderful community of players who will encourage you to keep getting better, especially if you're learning a healer. Ranked is the best environment for a new player, and you should absolutely start playing Ranked as soon as possible so that you can improve at whatever champions you're struggling at. Number 3. Buy Deft Hands And the third tip that I have for new players is to always buy Deft Hands if you're playing a champion who needs to reload. Reloading faster will significantly increase your DPS because you're spending less time just doing nothing. For example, it turns Victor, one of the strongest champions in the game, into an absolute bullet hose, with a near constant stream of bullets when you have Deft Hands maxed out. Also, when you're dueling someone, you don't want to have to suddenly get interrupted by the need to reload, but if that does happen to you, Deft Hands will mitigate how much time you're not able to shoot at an enemy. Deft Hands is just extremely helpful in almost any circumstance, and I almost feel bad for champions like Grover who can't buy it. Daft Hands is definitely a game changer, and impacts your DPS way more than other sad items like Cauterize or Wrecker. Number 2. Improve at each role Paladins is distinct from other games for its unique inclusion of different roles that a team ought to have in order to beat an enemy team. There are three separate roles, Tank, Damage, and Support. Tanks are the ones who make space for the team and capture objectives, and lead the charge into the enemies while protecting their teammates. Damage heroes are the ones that score the most kills for the team and pump damage into the enemy tanks to try and take them out of the fight. And lastly, supports are the ones who help keep your team alive, healing back the damage your teammates have sustained, providing other benefits for your team like immortality fields or damage buffs, and also inflicting negative effects on the enemies like sleep darts or damage amplifiers. It's extremely important that you master at least a few heroes from each role, so that you can always flex when your team needs you to, and you're not just confined to playing one role. It's always a great idea to be flexible with who you can play, so try and master a few different heroes from each class. It will really help you out in the long run. Bonus tip, play Leon. Real quick before we get into the number one best tip I have to help you improve at Paladins, I want to quickly talk about this one particular champion that is super great for new players to try. Leon is a very fair and balanced champion that takes much of the effort out of aiming, which can be difficult for someone who's just starting out. With Alacrity, Leon has two different abilities that will hit all enemies on the screen just by pressing a button, without having to worry about aiming. This can be great for dealing with extremely quick and nimble enemies that are hard to hit otherwise. Leon also has a fair amount of burst, able to quickly delete enemies in almost no time. And if you're ever scared that you're going to lose a duel, just press your ultimate. This is a fair and balanced ultimate that automatically wins you duels, since it gives you 50% damage reduction and fires out a 1600 damage blast that is enough to kill any enemy who's not quite at full health. 
This is a very fair champion that has no questionable game design choices whatsoever, and is excellent for anyone to play. Number 1. Listen to Rick Astley while playing. And the number one tip I have is to listen to Rick Astley's music while playing. Rick Astley's music is fantastic to play in the background to improve your performance, because it will never give you up, and it will never let you down. It keeps you focused, instead of letting you run around and desert your teammates. It's never going to make you cry, which is good when you're in a tough matchup that you're struggling to win against. It won't say goodbye, since that's kind of impossible for music. And it will never tell a lie or hurt you, which is something that I think we need more of in modern music. So, my absolute number one tip is to listen to Rick Astley's music. And if you don't know which songs to dive into, here's my personal favorite. This is a really great song that I always listen to while playing Leon and crushing people in Ranked. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Did any of these tips help you improve at Paladins? And do you have any other tips for new players that could be helpful? If you do, make sure to leave them in the comments section down below. While you're down there, make sure to like this video and subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload from me. Also check out my Twitch channel where I stream Paladins regularly, and join my Discord server linked in the description to become a part of our active community. Lastly, I want to give a huge shout out to the members of the channel for helping to support my content. If you want to support the channel and gain access to some fun emojis and an exclusive role in the Discord server, then just click the join button right next to the subscribe button. It's cheap, and it helps out a lot. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Haha, <laughs> you've been pranked. Get destroyed. Ha! <laughs> I can't believe you made it through this entire video actually thinking that I was seriously going to advise people to buy deft hands! What? You seriously fell for that? You must be feeling really silly by now. I can't. <laughs> I can't believe, I can't believe you fell for that. That is so silly. And, uh, you think I actually listened to Rick Astley while playing Leon? I don't know which part of that sentence is more unbelievable. The idea that I listened to Rick Astley, or the idea that I listened to, or uh, I played to Leon. Play to Leon? That doesn't make sense. The idea that I play Leon is just absurd. I didn't even go out and get fresh Leon footage for this video. I used footage from the freaking Leon guide, because I don't even want to play her for an April Fool's prank. So no, <laughs> no, I didn't even play Leon for this video. You have been bamboozled, my friend, and I feel sorry for you.